in the world of Android repairs, not all tools are created equal. And when it comes to fighting back against anti-crack transition protection and deep software issues, trust matters most. Today we're diving into DFT Pro, Android Multi Tool, and Mobile C2, three big names in the game. But which one truly delivers when you're up against tough anti-crack barriers? In from FRP bypass to firmware repair, from user-friendly interfaces to deep level Android unlocking, we're putting them head to head so you don't waste your time or your device. So grab your cables, power up your PC, and let's find out which Android tool really deserves your trust. Don't blink, this might just save your next repair job. Let's get into it. I've been having some kind of they don't like understand what exactly is happening when 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 anti crack server is off. So uh, we have more than one software that support this action that you can use to fix this anti crack problem. But if you can take a closer look, whenever we have, whenever one of these softwares anti crack server stops, almost all of them are are doing the same. So that means they are the all the the software the, the old software all of them are came from that that means all of these softwares that are just come from the same source so that is that is what i can say based on experience because let me let me give you one flu these softwares have so much you can that you can do with the phone and fix so many issues but when it comes to anti crack problem like i said so they they are the same they are the same don't even think outside of the box all of the softwares come from the same source because that is what I can see and I what that is what I have experience on. So let me go and check AMT official site so that you will you, you use you will see what I'm seeing. Anti crack server on that AMT is up is currently up this today 17 uh, June. Today 17 June anti crack server is up at this particular time that I'm recording this video. So that means and also it, it does the same on DFT Pro and it also does the same on Mobile C2. So you will see what I'm going to show you right now. Let me go to the AMT website and see what what condition the anti-crack server is currently running to. Can you see we have offline status? This is the op this this is the status of the current condition for their anti-crack server AMT. Uh, their official site and this is the authorization server status under this list you can see the, the, the very last option which is anti anti crack transition option is offline it is offline guys it is offline and let me go and show you another thing on the AT Pro. that is the only way you can understand that all of these softwares are come from the same source and you don't have to even mind you don't have to even bother yourself you don't have to even disturb yourself to think about let me switch to think about switching to different software when one of them and crack server is up because all of this, these softwares are the same you don't have to do all, all of these things let me go and check dft pro to see for the sake of all of the, all of this let, let, let us see what dft pro has to say about anti crack current condition this is amt amt website suggests that anti crack server is off so don't even waste your time because from from the earlier stages of my anti crack experience, I thought if one of the sub if one of this software is up, so I can switch and to the and to the other one. That is why I bought I bought almost all of them. But unfortunately, it doesn't solve my problem. It can't have the prime source. They came from the same sources. So here is the anti crack. Here is the here is the software. Here is the FT Pro. Let us try one one device. To see what DFT Pro has to say about current and crack and crack condition. So mind you guys, I'm going to try it with my Techno of it. If you knew Techno of it, it is the this one Techno device that come with SPD processor. So I will I should have to use this Unisoc option and under Unisoc I should stick to this Deac tools option also. So then I should go go straight forward to the, to remove anti crack. Let us see what condition the FT Pro's anti crack server is is, up, is on. So let let us see now. So this 
so let us see. Can you see guys, server authorization failed code 2018 and everything that I had said from the beginning of this video, it is now comes like everything is happening the way I predicted. I'm saying this thing from experience like you don't have to waste and give yourself hell it trying to think about if this thing is different or something else. Let us go to the mobile see and see if it is anti-crack server is working or not. When you set up this device, I will go straight to the spectrum because I'm going to try it on spectrum device. So for, for the next stage I have to take, let me go and select it is upgrade SPD model. SPD CPU because I think it has to be this TC system and let me try it with here's the option here's where for most of you that in case if you didn't know mobile C mobile C is another tool that support anti-crack and it support anti-crack fix issue it has anti-crack server eh, under it is uh, under it is software developing uh, what whatever it can be so from that eh, from the main yeah, from the main list of device, just choose Spectrum if you are. It depends. It depends on the device you want to try with. In my test, I will try. I'm about to try it on on SPD Android. So that in that in that case, I should use this Spectrum option. So then I move to move to this unlock. And under this unlock, I should use this M I M I S T lock. So from this M I S T lock, I should choose this Techno Infinix remove and to crack the arc. So I will click it now and press in this remove. Diak reboot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Re reboot. Uh, reboot Diak nine new. Then I should click do the job. Then I will click uh, connect the phone without pressing any key. Without without pressing any key. Let me see. Let us see what mobile C has to say about anti crack current condition, guys. Let us see what DT what mobile C has to say about this issue. Okay, I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to connect it again. So the phone is about to, this phone is about to start connecting now. Let us see if this software can do what DAT and AMT couldn't do at this particular situation. That we are currently moving to. Can you see guys, do you trust me guys? Fell server offline. That means all of these softwares it doesn't matter if they come from different developers but the anti-crack server under all of this across all of these softwares comes from the same source so don't even waste your money trying to buy another software to take advantage of mm, switching to another software just to escape anti-crack server issue from the, the from the door from the, the tool you are currently using because most of the engineers I knew they are using DFT Pro, which is the quite, which is the most outstanding software that every every engineer can possibly have. And you know how this thing, how this tool is operating, it's fixing and crack more than how you can expect. So thank you very much, guys. Before you leave, make sure you subscribe to this channel in order to see more cool videos like this. Take care. Bye bye.